Hello everyone. Here's a surprising fact. In the 1940s, nearly every American family saved seeds from their garden. Fast forward to today and most people don't even realize how powerful this simple skill can be. Imagine growing plants year after year that get stronger more flavorful and more resistant to disease just by saving seeds from your garden it's not just about keeping a tradition alive it's about taking control of your garden's future ready to unlock the secrets of seed saving let's jump into the art of seed saving one of the most satisfying gardening techniques that's easier than you think First, you have to start with the right plants. Not all plants are great for seed saving. If you are using hybrid varieties, you are out of luck. They won't grow true to the parent plant. Instead, stick to open pollinated or air loom varieties for guaranteed success. Here's a cool example. The Charaki Parbo Tomato. In American ill loom variety, this tomato has been passed down through generations. And when you save its seeds, you are carrying forward all the delicious flavors and hearty traits that have made it a garden favorite for decades. Think about this if you were picking players for an all star team, you'd only choose the best, right? The same goes for seed saving. Always select the healthiest, most productive plants. This ensures that your next generation of crops will be just as vigorous or even better. Say you are growing cucumbers. Don't just save seeds from any old plant. Look for the one that produced the best fruits, had the least disease, and flourished in your garden's conditions. This is how you breed your plants to perfection. One of the biggest mistakes people make harvesting seeds too early. You want those seeds to mature fully to maximize their germination potential. For example, if you are saving tomato seeds, let those tomatoes get super ripe almost to the point where they are too soft to eat. This guarantees the seeds inside have had enough time to develop and are ready to be saved. Not all seeds are created equal and neither are the ways to extract them. For plants like tomatoes and cucumbers, you will need to ferment the seeds to get them ready. This sounds fancy but it's really simple. Scoop out the seeds. Add a bit of water and let them sit for a few days. Once a moldy layer forms, you've done it. That layer is crucial for cleaning the seeds and prepping them for next season. Dry seeded crops like beans and lettuce are even easier. Just let them dry on the plant and then shake or thresh the seeds out when they are ready. Here's the deal. If you don't dry and store your seeds correctly, all that hard work goes to waste. You want to dry them thoroughly by spreading them out on a screen or a paper towel in a cool, dry spot for about a week. When they are bone dry, store them in airtight containers in a cool, dark place. And here's a pro tip. Studies show that seeds stored below 50 degree Fahrenheit, like in your fridge or freezer, stay viable for much longer. So if you are serious about saving seeds, this step is critical. Trust me, you don't want to skip this step. Label your seeds with the plant variety. Date and any useful notes. Nothing's worse than opening a packet in spring and wondering, is this basil or lettuce? A simple label can save you tons of confusion next season. 
seed saving isn't just a way to cut down on garden expenses. It's a way to grow smarter and more resilient crops year after year. By selecting the strongest plants and following these simple techniques, you will be passing on your garden's best traits to future generations. Go to the garden and start saving seeds. It's a game changer for any gardener looking to grow a better, stronger garden.